Hello, I'm Mr. 23 and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to manually create a 3D text in Photoshop. Let's start by using the text tool and we are going to change the color into something like an orange and we are going to write our text. Alright, let's zoom out and let's make this text bigger than our canvas size. Right click on the text and convert it to a smart object. Press Ctrl Command T and let's add some perspective to this text by dragging the corners of the text. Alright, so I'm going to drag the corners. Now let's create a shadow of the main text. For that, hold Ctrl and click on the thumbnail of the text. Now hold Ctrl again or Command and press of the on the icon of creating a new layer and let's name this layer shadow. Now we are going to select a color for that shadow and we are going to fill that new layer. So this is our shadow. Alright, let's move our shadow to add a 3D shadow of our text. Let's make our shadow smaller so press Ctrl Command T and just drag it and make it smaller. Alright, now we are going to align each letter behind the main letter of our text. So let's reduce the opacity of the main text and now go on the shadow layer and take the polygonal lasso tool, zoom in and let's start to move each letter. So I'm going to select this letter and now I'm going to drag the letter to the right. I'm holding shift so this letter cannot move up and down, only left and right. Now we are going to take the next letter, we are doing the same thing with the polygonal lasso tool and I'm just holding shift and move the letter to the side. Ok, once you're finished, bring back the opacity to 100% and now let's create a new layer underneath the main text and take the polygonal lasso tool. Now we're going to select the corners and fill them with the same color as the shadow. So take the brush tool and take a hard brush and just fill with that color. We are going to repeat the process with each of the corners of our text. Now let's add some more volume to our text and we are going to add more shadows and lights to our 3D text. Go to the shadow layer and hold shift and we are going to press Ctrl or Command E to make one single layer from our shadow. Now add a new adjustment layer and choose exposure. Then Hold Alt or Option and clip this exposure inside our shadow text. Now decrease the exposure and now press Ctrl or Command I and invert our selection. Take the brush tool, use the white color and choose a soft brush and the flow should be really small, something like 10%. And now if we paint, you see, we can add some shadows. So we are going to add some shadows to our 3D text. Now we are going to do the same thing with the main layer, but this time I'm going to add a hue and saturation layer, adjustment layer. I'm going to hold Alt R option and clip it inside our main text. And then from the adjustment layers, select a even orange color. Now press Ctrl or Command I and invert the selection. Take again the brush tool and just start to paint with a white color. Now let's add another adjustment layer which is solid color and we are going to choose a yellow color. Alright, 
do the same thing, clip it inside our main layer and then let's invert the selection and we are doing the same thing we are painting with the white color on the inverted mask. Alright, so now we've created our 3D text, we are going to add more details, so hold Ctrl Command and click on the thumbnail of our text and create a new layer. Go to Select, Modify and then Contract and contract the selection with 4 pixels. Then be sure that Marquee Tool is selected, right click on the screen and choose Stroke and use the white color and the width should be around 3%. Because the stroke is too big on the last two letters, I am going to delete the stroke on those two letters and I am going to create a new one with a smaller width. Be sure that this layer is selected, hold Ctrl and press on the dream text and then hold Alt or Option and deselect the three first letters. Now we are going to do the same thing, so go to select modify contract the same four pixels and now right click and then I'm going to choose two pixels. Here you go. If you want you can do the same thing with the last letter and choose one pixel. Now let's bring everything into one single layer so I'm going to hold shift and select everything and I'm going to right click and convert to a smart object now let's add a layer mask, choose the brush tool and the flow should be 100%, set the color of the brush to black and choose the grass brush. On the brush properties deselect color dynamics and shape dynamics. Let's zoom in and now we are going to hide the parts of the text where the text intersects with the grass. Alright, now we can add a new shadow layer. So I'm creating a new layer, I'm going to set the blending mode to multiply, I'm going to take again the brush tool and choose a color from our grass which is this dark green and set the flow around 5%. So I'm going to create some small shadows underneath our main text. Alright, so we've created the shadows, we are going to add a depth of field blur bokeh to our main text, so go to filter, blur gallery and choose field blur. Then we are going to play around and just add a small blur to the right side. Now we are going to add a few more elements to our main composition. So I have this picture of this lovely lady sitting and I'm going to quick select her to add her behind our text. So I'm going to use Photoshop object selection tool, I'm selecting her and I'm going to zoom in, choose the lasso tool and just use Alt or Option to deselect parts of the selection and Shift to add parts to our selection. I'm going to add a mask to our selection and I'm going to move her behind our text and of course you can make her a bit smaller because she's behind our text where we have the bokeh I'm going to select her and convert it to a smart object go to filter blur gallery field blur and I'm going to add the same bokeh effect to the girl of course you can use the same brush to make her blend even better to our background Final thing, I'm going to add a shadow and set the blending mode to multiply, take again the soft brush and paint behind our text and reduce the opacity to 60%. If you want, you can add any other details that you prefer. We have this lovely butterfly that we can add to our main composition 
and make it smaller and put it wherever you think. We can add a small shadow to our butterfly and we are going to create a new layer and set the blending mode this time to overlay. And we are just going to paint a small shadow, something like that. I'm going to use a shortcut which is Ctrl Alt Shift and I. Basically what this shortcut is doing is creating a new layer which contains all the layers into one single image. So I'm going to convert this one to a smart object, go to filter and choose camera row filter. These are the settings that I've used. You can copy or create your own. If you want to have more magic to your uh, final composition, you can add a new layer and choose linear dodge and just paint on the edges of your text. Alright, so this is the tutorial for today. You can create your own 3D text in just few minutes. If you liked my tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. <laughs>